Hi and welcome, Cat from Sacred Soul Rising. So there's this saying, Into the woods I go, To lose my mind and find my soul. And right now, Divine Masculine is in those woods. And I want to take you back to the bubble love phase. The bubble love phase where the two of you are downloading, downloading all that data that you have gained through this lifetime up until meeting. You see, you're one soul in two bodies. That's right, the one soul is having two incarnations. And so this journey has been orchestrated from birth. And often people, and I've seen comments recently um, on my YouTube, and I want you to know that I do read all your comments. Um, I don't, a lot of the time, have time to answer everybody. But I will try, if I can, make more videos. So if you do, if you do comment, um, I am reading them. Um, I am connecting in with your energy and, you know, if I see comments in there that I think will benefit um, other twins and, and to help you on your journey, I will create videos for you to, to delve in deeper into that area. So as, as that bubble of phase um, is weaving and dancing, the, the one soul is is dancing together and you know the the energies the chakras are aligning the energy is dancing um as one and as that energy is building and building to a point when soul recognition happens the soul recognizes itself in the other body and that's normally when separation happens now I have received a few questions about do twins always have to go into separation? Um, it is extremely, extremely complicated for twins um, when that push-pull energy and that, that energy is really at a heightened state. Twins can't stay together um, and that is really hard to hear. Soulmates can do the work together, but twins can't. The intensity of the one soul um, is, is painful. It's painful. When the soul has got soul recognition, both twins have to... Cause, because in that, in that bubble of phase, you, you see that mirror of that God essence, your own God essence, and your own your own vibration and how pure it is. And you believe that you fell in love with another, but really it was you that you were falling back in love with. But on soul recognition, that's when the the pulling away happens, the separation. And as I always say, separation is preparation. That is when separation if you're in separation right now, and especially if you, this is the first separation you have had, and often people will ask, you know, how many separation? Is it just one separation? Do twins have a certain amount? No. Separation always, 99.99999% happens in twins. Um... Is there a set number? No, this is unique to your journey. So in the separation, that is when you go off and, and work on you and come into your own God essence and your own fullness. And, you know, that Kundalini gets activated in order for you to step into your sovereignty that that energy is weaving up the idol, the dancing up the idol and the pingala and moving that energy up 
um, so you can release it so you can observe those emotions that rise within you so you can work deeper on self and both twins must come into that god essence and that fullness um it's funny i'm being given the word ripeness which i don't believe there's even a word called ripeness um but i'm being shown um a peach hanging on a tree you know that that peach that is full of goodness and juice and oh the sun that has ripened it and brought it into its fullness so when you bite into it you just the sensation and the taste and the sweetness is fava voom and that's what mo that's what both twins must come into sorry for the peach um i don't really know where i'm going with the peach but that's what I was being shown and, um, you know, these, when I'm doing these videos, they're not staged, I'm not reading off a script, I'm raw and real as I'm coming to you. So the peach, I don't really know where it came from, but anyway, <laughs> it's there and I'm going with it. So flow with me. So, so you you get to that point of where the soul recognition and the separation happens now um the divine feminine is catapulted in into dark night of the soul instantly and the pain and the soul shock and the pure loss and the physical um spiritual death that is occurring um, is incredibly painful, incredibly painful. Um, but as divine feminine um, moves through, and remember when I talk about divine feminine, it doesn't matter um, what you identify in the physical, i.e. male or female. If you are on this journey and your other self left you and you're in this physical pain and in the chasing energy you are divine feminine and and this connection is all energy that is this connection and often when i talk about it's not romance it's connection people then will go oh my god what are you saying we are never going to be together what are you saying that this is not love this connection is the one soul can it look like a romantic connection? Yes. Can you go out for romantic dinners and kiss and hug and make incredible love? Well, beyond incredible love. Um, yes, 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 yes. But this connection is way beyond that. So if you hear me say that, don't get triggered by it because I've seen quite a few comments on oh you're not saying you're saying it's not romance then so you're telling me I can never be with my twin no I'm not saying that you have to see beyond this journey this journey isn't just boy meets girl um and it's and kiss 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 it's way beyond this is your spiritual awakening you are given the seeds of potential to step into the the truth your your to to ascend and walk the path of enlightenment this is way beyond you know girl girl boy 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 girl <laughs> whatever you identify as this is way beyond just a normal relationship is what i'm trying to say so Divine Feminine goes into Dark Night of the Soul, but there comes a point where you start to you start to go within. You start to um, realize that everything that you were searching for um, is actually within yourself. All those questions, you are your own inner compass. You 
are here to um, show yourself, um, you know, how to negotiate the terrain. And you start to then surrender in, you start to relax into the journey. Um, and, you know, by this point, you've normally found lots of information on Twin Flames. Um, you've lot, normally gone through very, quite a few separations and you're starting to relax in, you're starting to surrender. At this, well, before this point, obviously Divine Masculine, the running energy has run all the way. And when you are going through Dark Night of the Soul, they are normally at that point, when, when the soul recognition happens and the initial separation, when they run at that point, they feel relief. They feel like, oh my God, I can finally breathe. You know, this feels, oh, all that crazy energy, all that intense energy. Okay, I can breathe. I can breathe now. And you may come back together and, and they may feel it again so they have to run even harder this time and each time they're running they're running deeper and deeper into the woods or or whether you want to use water but they're they're running deeper and deeper into those woods deeper into the forest and as they run deeper into the forest you know you think about being in a dark forest in a forest that is thick with with trees and it gets dark it gets really dark in that forest you're gonna feel alone you're gonna feel incredibly alone but with each time they run they get deeper and deeper into the forest and you know if you get deeper and deeper into the forest you're searching, aren't you? You're searching for a way out. You're searching for relief. And at first, they may run into another relationship or they may, may run into work. You know, I'm going to work harder at work. You know, I, I don't need this, all this romantic relationship because they're thinking it's romance at, at the beginning. Or they may, you know, start to do, may, may start to hit the bottle um, or they may start to really exercise hard or party hard, um, feeling that that will um, give them the relief. And the more that they run, the more that they realise that they're becoming more and more lost in this darker and darker and deeper and dense place. And they start to... Through this process, they start to move through their own dark night of the soul. They start to realise that the running, they're only actually running from them, themselves. And all that you did, Divine Feminine, was hold a mirror up to everything that they have spent their life running from. And through this process of running deeper and getting further and further lost, they start to find themselves because that is all they can do. Because the deeper they go, the more lost they feel. And at this point, you may feel that tug of energy, um, of that deep despair and that deep grief. And at this point, Divine Feminine normally wants to reach out, um, normally wants to um, do what Divine Feminine does best, save. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming in there with the helicopters, with the SAS or the MI5, you know, the... I can't even think, what is that helicopter? You know the one that I mean, the big, the big boy. I was going to say the big bugger. But, you know, I'm coming in with the troops and we'll, you know, shoot down and save you. But this is not, 
This is not how the story goes. This is not how the journey goes. You see, divine masculine has got themselves into this. They've travelled so deep into this that anybody coming in and saving them they're not going to learn the lessons. They're not going to go through the process. And so when you surrender fully divine feminine, and I mean fully over to divine and go, I know that this journey is divinely orchestrated. I know that what I saw in that bubble of phase was the God essence and I know this journey is about me coming into wholeness, about me being that ripe, beautiful peach hanging on that tree. And I'm just going to surrender. I'm going to allow myself to surrender everything over to divine. I am going to trust in divine and know that this journey... I cannot go backwards on this journey. And only when you fully surrender does it allow divine masculine, the running energy, to start to come into wholeness, to start to come into fullness, into ripeness, which once again, I'm not sure if that's a word, a word. probably isn't, but I've just made it up, so we'll allow it to be in Cat's Dictionary. Um, <laughs> and when, when that, that energy starts to rise within Divine Masculine, he starts to ignite his own light. He starts to ignite his own sov a sovereignty and starts to walk back out of the forest. And and there will be trips, there will be bumps, there will be that feeling of utter despair and utter loss. But you see, both twins, which is the one soul, are unbecoming. You see, you are everything and nothing all at once. This is the journey of moving into a higher consciousness, of collapsing dualarity and coming into singularity. If you need more help and support on this journey, my Twin Flame course is there for you. My Awakened Consciousness, which is my weekly support group, which has hours and hours of videos that you can watch instantly, is there to help and support you. To help and support you. Give you that inner standing. I'm not going to give you a magic pill on this journey. This journey is your awakening. I'm going to give you the understanding, or should I say the inner standing, so you can start to surrender over, so you can start to relax into this journey. But I'll tell you now, I don't have the ma magic pill. I'm not going to give you a magic pill and poof, unions happening instantly. That's not this journey. And anybody that tells you it is this journey, I'm sorry, they're lying. Oh my goodness, that's so harsh, Cat. No, it is the truth of this journey. This journey is not an easy journey. This journey is the hardest journey you will ever go through. Why? Because this is your awakening. And if you haven't gone through Dark Night of the Soul, if you're not feeling that soul shock and that loss... I ask you to question whether you are on a twin flame journey. If you're just seeing this as just bubbles and love and romance and stars and hearts, then that is not the twin flame journey. The twin flame journey will break you open, take you to your knees and you will feel incredible pain. Why? Because you have just met your other self. And you are going through soul shock. 
but let me give you um, reassurance that this is a journey. This is a process that you are going through. And as you shift and move through this process, you'll see this beautiful journey. You will see Divine Masculine start to shift out. You will start to see that light. You see, it's a journey of the soul. And when you surrender over to the soul and shift into soul instead of being in mind and ego, that is when the journey changes. And as I say, if you need more help and support, click down in the description. My website is overflowing with information. It is there to help and support you to shift through this incredible journey. I send you so much love. And, you know, if you are Divine Masculine who is listening to this and you are now starting to find your way through that forest, know that this journey is a beautiful journey. And, and I want to uh, add one last important thing here. Both twins go through an incredible amount of um, shifts and, and releasing and letting go. And this is the one soul working in tandem. But Divine Feminine, this journey is all about you shifting the energy fully onto you and working at a soul level on you. Because when you step into soul, that allows divine masculine to also step into soul. I send you much love, many blessings.